everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to be making shark coasters, and they're going to be easy, quick, and similar to something we've made before. If you're having a Shark Week party, these will be perfect. If you watched my 4th of July coasters, then you'll know what I'm going to do. We have our images. Here's the Hammerhead Shark, the Mako Shark. We've got the tiger shark, the great white. So you could do full bodied, you could do partial. Um, here's the goblin shark. And I'm gonna tell you what, this one creeps me out more than anything. And this one scares me more than anything. The Mako's like a little torpedo with like the worst teeth in the world. So in addition to that, I printed out some fun facts on each of these sharks. So we have the great white shark. They live and hunt on the coast of every continent in the world except Antarctica, which I thought was pretty interesting. So I'm going to just take some glue, put that on the back just like this, rub it down. Here's the hammerhead. Um, I used a paper punch to punch this stuff out, but I had some that are too close, so I just made little teeth marks there. Here's the hammerhead shark. They are one of the few animals who tan from the sun because they often swim in shallow waters. My kind of shark. Here's the tiger shark. They can have litters up to 10 to 80 pups at a time. That is quite a litter. Here's the mako, and that is the fastest shark species. They average 60 miles an hour when they're in pursuit of their prey. So guess who you're not gonna outswim. And here is the goblin shark, which is the creepiest of all sharks in my opinion. But you'll never see them because they live way down deep, deep in the depths. And they are actually, and it doesn't look like it in this picture, but they're actually pinkish in color, and that's because their skin is translucent and their blood, it's the blood in their capillaries that you're seeing through their skin, and that's give, that gives them a pinkish hue. So now all we're gonna do is take some shelf liner, and it's just a clear transparent shelf liner, and we're gonna cut some out. And we wanna peel it back just like this, put them on there, rub it down, and then you take your next sheet, Put it over and sandwich it in just like this. And then you cut it out. So here it is, right there. You can use cardstock or regular paper. Um, the cardstock is going to give you a little bit more body, where as the regular paper is going to be a little more flexible. But if you have a cold drink that you're putting on a table, it's still going to protect it just like this. And then you have your fun fact on the back. They're not only good coasters, but they are terrific conversation starters and accessories if you're having like a Shark Week viewing party. It's perfect. So be sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments below. And what shark is your favorite shark? I would love to know that as well down in the comments. If you are making any kind of shark art, be sure to use the hashtag shark art and tag me at Crab Clutch at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you are new here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.